Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, I got a Steph Curry build for y'all, Jason Kidd build, Drew Holiday build, Gary Payton build. I know the undersized PGs ain't getting a lot of love, but there there's some cheesy uh, point guard builds going around. And I want to give uh, my version on what I think would be the best. And I'm going to really break it down to you so you understand, you can tweak it. This is just a template. And you know, you, you could do for what you want. So make sure y'all watch this full video or you're not going to understand, okay? Now I tried a bunch of heights, all that the 6'1", for some reason, is glitch. Lowest weight, make his body type built, you know, to appear bigger than you are. Don't do that other stuff. I know people are going to do it, but you want to appear bigger, especially since you're going to be 6'10", wingspan. You're going to be able to dunk on this little 80 driving dunk, 77 driving layup. So, you know, we're going to have gold giant slayer, fearless finisher silver, pro touch gold, and the limitless takeoff. That's really why we got this. Uh you know 16 back and we're gonna be cool you need it on at least silver bro now look acceleration man we're gonna bring that hoe to a 96 now if you want more badges you want more attributes overall on this build you can take the acceleration down bro but the point of being a small guard to have this high uh acceleration is to to put it up i know people stop at 90 91 92 93 94 like why not just max it out it is um your speed boosting your dribbling speed all that and so why not just have it at the highest you're gonna be faster than every other guard in the game and uh the vertical at 60 for the quick drops bring this stamina to 94 we got speed to guard you know and again you can have the build look better than what i'm finna show y'all the key is this acceleration it's it's too hot but still this is still an amazing build especially for this side 99 steel okay <laughs> they're not gonna patch this shit even if they do patch it hall of fame glove is pretty broken bro pro-am wreck especially wreck bro a lot of people aren't running a uh, unpluckable and e even bro this build especially when people keep trying to baby you and stuff, you're gonna be able to just spam square. So people are gonna be like hesitant to try to baby you because you could just spam square as soon as it switches. And when the locks on you, a lot of locks don't even have unpluckable to even put on. And um, a lot of centers, so you know, when you're guarding them in the corner or say you're guarding ball or, or whatever you're guarding, and there's a secret I'm gonna show you at the end, of the vis, you're gonna want to really watch that, bro. This, this glove shit, bro, it's like you really can just fuck niggas up. A lot of people don't have unpluckable on, and by the way, those are not the people that's complaining about how glove is broken and unpluckable isn't. I'm telling you, if niggas aren't main ball handlers, they don't have glove on. So when you get on them, you could just reach. People gonna be trying to baby you and stuff and all that because you're little. And you could just reach. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna help you out, man. Now this interior, bro, we gonna max this hoe out, bro. Um, says contest shots near the rim. You know, people are gonna try to baby you. So you're gonna have to uh, have this up somewhat. Hopefully it helps. I have not tested this, but I assume 6-1, you be able to get some stops. Um, last year, you could get some stops on a 6'1", um, even without interior on your build. Like, if you do your contest right, you, you should be able to get some stops. I'm saying if you're, like, contesting, like, contesting, contesting, like, jumping when they're going up and stuff, and you're right there. Now, I'm not talking about following and all that stuff, you know? So, again, how you can have better stats on this build is not having your ball handled this high, okay? Um, but the thing is, Curry Sigs, and you get Hall of Fame Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is a very useful badge, so it's going to help your speeds even more, bro. 78 pass accuracy, speed will ball 77. And yeah, man, like if you go with 90, you could get so many more badges. But me personally, I think since, you know, Sigs is kind of, uh, I think Curry could be some. You know, Steve Francis is pretty cheesy. But I think Curry, it might, it, it, it could be possible. And then the Hall of Fame hyperdrive, I, I, I think it's worth going. Or you could do the 90. It's up to you. It all depends on your play style. Now this three point, we gonna get gold agent threes, gold catch and shoot, gold blinders, silver limitless, Hall of Fame space creator, gold amped, you know, and all these other badges, man. Then we got a 72 free throw, you know, Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame quick first step, gold clamp break, silver handles for days. You know, you could go 94, but it's like, it really messes up a lot of stuff. Hopefully, I, I think the interior, it, it might be able to help somewhat. 
you know <laughs> so it could be worth it bro to be honest but if it's not worth it you you could of course take down your interior and add it to other things to boost your playmaking or you know your finishing even your shooting and yeah bro and by the way i put um perimeter defense to 80. now for the takeovers you get all these takeovers man right me personally i would do this okay it says drops the opposition's offensive badges down a tier when getting near them on the perimeter so this basically means that you can drop unpluckable and you'll have hall of fame glove <laughs> you're ripping everybody and then it says doubling up will give you twice the impact of the selected ability when the secondary takeover is activated oh the secondary takeover oh. you could be patient and wait for it bro it's 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 up to you bro but you know i would do this for the first one even even if you you know you take it down one level that I, I think that's major, man. You can put the limitless on, do some shit like that. Up, up to you, man. And then voila, man. You know, you got the Drew Holiday. Fuck these other niggas. They ain't got no 99 steel. And you're a three point shot creator. Y'all let me know if y'all ever seen this build name. If you got it, if you see it in the park, not if you've seen it like on YouTube or whatever, but if you've seen this build name in the park, man. Now for the badges, for finishing for this build, I'll rock this, man. Uh, you pretty much can max out everything. You know, you got the silver uh, limitless takeoff. You got the pro touch. Got the fearless finisher. You know, got got shit maxed out, man. Yeah, let me know what uh, finishing badge lineup y'all would do. Now for the shooting, I'd probably rock it like this, man. It all depends if bronze claymore is like dope or bronze or silver claymore would be better, like gold. Uh, none of the modded controllers really went over stuff, so this is just how I'm feeling right now, to be honest. And that MIDI Magician, you know, it's gonna help you more in the wreck and stuff like that, and when people just guarding the three and all that. So, you know, you could take off the catch and shoot if you don't really need help with that and all that. And, you know, you could max that out, bro, and just, you know, go to the MIDI, fade that bitch, spin, pull up, whatever. Now on this build, you're definitely gonna wanna put your plus four on playmaking, everything playmaking, everything. Yeah, but you see how you can barely have shit, bro? Like I can't even put on my purple hyperdrive, bro. Shit is sad. But this is definitely why you gotta, uh, you know, put your plus four on playmaking so you can get it. It's probably how I rock the defensive badges right here. And um, yeah, y'all let me know how you would rock your defensive badges down below on a build like this. Anywho, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me down below on Twitch. Link is in the description. And y'all make sure y'all click one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.